Hey, second grade, how are you this week? This is going to be our only video for the week of April 20th through the 24th. Um, I wanted to do a tiny bit of a review before we get started. Okay. Last time we spoke, we talked about this sound right here, and it's called a fat puff. And that sound is ch, like the digraph ch, or j, like the letter j. Okay. Now, before we get started, I'd like for you to make sure that you have your sound tray ready with your sound cards all set up. And as soon as you have that done, come back to the video and then we'll get started. So pause now, get your cards ready. Okay, you're back. So here we go. And I need to talk to you a little bit before we go to our spelling lesson, that's where we left off last time. And I know this looks like a bunch of weird stuff over here, but let me explain, okay? So the very first thing I want you to look at is if anything is in parentheses, and that's these little, um, these little curves right here, that means it's a sound. So if you hear the j sound before an a, o, or u, we spell that with the letter J. Now, let's come over here and let's talk about when we use a CH to spell the CH sound. If you have in the initial position, remember I represents initial, if you have in the initial position the CH sound, you're going to spell that with digraph CH. Now, we're going to talk about when you use digraph CH in the final position. If there is a consonant sound and the final sound is CH in your word, you always spell it with CH or digraph CH, I mean. And then, right down here, this is when we're going to use digraph CK. If you have a one-syllable base word, in your word there's a short vowel sound, and the final sound is k, you use digraph CK to spell that final k sound. All right? So that's going to help us when we spell some words today. So let's go ahead and get started. Our procedures are look and listen, echo, unblend, Pull down your sound cards, touch and spell, name and write, code and read. Here we go. All right, second grade, your first word is chick. Echo, chick. Unblend, ch, i, k. Three sounds, okay? Ch, i, k. So first sound, ch. That's our new sound, isn't it? So we're going to need a fat puff right there. And in the initial position, we know that that would be named CH then. Okay? I is our second sound. Smiling vouch. I. K. That's a final K sound, isn't it? K. But which one of these cards is it? kicker. Okay, so let's touch and spell these cards. C-H-I-C-K. Right? Let's write it. <coughs> you, hang on, let me get my word <coughs> quiet. All right, so my co-worker is quiet now. And you will need a pencil and paper. I forgot to tell you that because you're going to have to spell these. So if you have to pause for a second and run and go get that, go do that. And now let's spell the word. Okay. So we have, let me grab a pen. Make it a skinny pen. All right. And first we said C H. I C K. 
Now we need to code this word. Underline digraph ch. A vowel and a closed syllable is short. Code it with a breathe. Underline digraph ck. And now we read it. Chick. Good. I'm going to erase that now. Put these sound parts back in their positions over here. And let's go for our next word. The next word is jack. Echo, jack. Unblend, j, a, k. Okay, first sound, j, j. Okay, that's also a new sound that we have. That is our fat path, j, a. Smiling vowel. That's a final CK sound, or a final K sound. So we know what we'll spell that with using our, our little guide up here. But what K? That's our back kicker again. Okay, let's touch and spell then. J-A-C-K. Good. Now grab your pencil and let's write that word. I'm going to give you a second. If you need to pause the video, do that. Okay, then come back and see if you have it. But it's J A C K. Let's code that. A vowel and a closed syllable is short. Code it with a breathe. Underline digraph C K. Jack. Good. Okay. Let's do one more. So let's replace our sound cards. And our final word is champ. Echo, champ. Unblend, ch, a, m, p, champ. Good. Let's get that first sound out. Ch. That's one of our new sounds. A. Smiling vowel. Ch -a -m. What was that? What will that be over here? Mm. A nasal sound, right? And then our final cham. Lips are coming together and forcing a puff of air out. P that is a fat puff, isn't it? Okay, and here we go. Or not a fat puff, a lip puffer. Sorry about that. That's called a lip puffer. And let's touch and spell C-H-A-M-P. Grab your pencil and paper now and let's spell that. C-H-A-M-P. Let's code that word. A vowel and a closed syllable short. Code it with a breathe. Underline digraph ch champ. Nice. Okay. You're still going to need your pencil and paper for the next thing that we do. So let's go to the next page. And what we'll be doing here is we're going to be writing a sentence. So I'm going to read you a sentence. We're going to do that where you echo it a couple of times, and then I'll be writing, um, or I'll be drawing a line for each word, okay? Now, I think that you can spell all the words in this sentence, so I'm not gonna give you any instant words today. So we'll try that also, okay? But let's remind ourselves about what a sentence is. A sentence is a complete thought. And inside of a sentence, we have a subject and a predicate. Okay, we usually put a little slash between those. We have a capital at the beginning, and then we have punctuation at the end, which can be a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. Good. Now, echo after me the sentence. Jack is with the champ. Echo. Let's do that again. Jack is with the champ. 
echo. Good. Now I'm going to read it and draw a line for each word. Jack is with the champ. I'm going to circle this because it's an instant word, but I'm not going to spell it for you today because I want you to spell the by yourself. All right. Now, after you've written the sentence and it has five words, make sure that you have everything a sentence needs. Okay. You'll have to pause the video and when you come back, we're going to check and see if you have that correct. So listen to the sentence one more time. Jack is with the champ. Pause and write it. Code the words in your sentence too. Okay, did you get your sentence written? Let's look and see how that should look. Okay, Jack is with the champ. Okay, we have a vowel and a closed syllable is short. Code it with a breathe. Underline digraph CK. A vowel and a closed syllable is short. Code it with a breathe. And did you remember that this was a voiced S? So we use a voice line through it. A vowel and a closed syllable is short. Code it with a breathe. Underline digraph TH, but it's unvoiced, so it doesn't need a voice line. I already told you that we would circle that word, the, T-H-E. And then a vowel and a closed syllable is short. Code it with a breathe. And underline digraph CH. Let's read the sentence together. Jack is with the champ. Good work. All right. Now, we're going to be going ahead and going on to our next lesson. And that, oh, well, looky there. Okay. I have some cards there ready to go. Uh, I don't need those yet. I'm going to go on to lesson 24. Okay. So we get to start brand new lessons here. Okay. And how do we always start a brand new lesson? We talk about our beforehand is our left hand. Our afterhand is our right hand. Okay. Now we have, whoops, I didn't set my fingers back in the right place. Okay. Now we have our alphabet chart. And I know yours is just a page with the before letters on top and the after letters on the bottom there. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about our alphabet for a little bit. So think about it. What does I represent when we talk about it? I represents initial. What does the F represent? F represents final. Now we don't talk about this one as much, but we are today. If I write an M, what does that represent? Middle or medial, good, okay. How many letters do we have in our alphabet? 26. Out of those 26 letters, how many sounds do we have? 44. Good. Now, how many, or let's say, this, what are the two types of letters in the alphabet? The types. Sometimes this one gets y'all a little confused. The two types of letters in the alphabet are vowels and consonants. Let's just name the vowels today, okay? A, E, I, O, U. And those are the cons or the vowels. All of the rest of them are called consonants. Okay, so two types of letters in the alphabet. Now, what are the two middle letters of the alphabet? There you go, M and N. Now, with your page that I gave you that has the alphabet in a before row and in an after row, I want you to put your before finger, your left finger on A, and your after finger, your right finger on N, and we're going to name the letters of the alphabet together. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Oh, whoops. 
N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Good. All right. Now, we are going to quickly talk about sequencing. Sequencing is when we put things in order, and today we're going to sequence parts of the alphabet. And so we're going to be using our missing letter deck for that. Our missing letter deck is the one where when I show you the picture, you give me the letter that would go in this blank. So for instance, this is A, B, what would you say? C. Good. So we're going to go through the rest of those together. Here we go. B, C, D, C, D, E, D, E, F, E, F, G, F, G, H, G, H, I, H, I, J, I, J, K, J, K, L, K, L, M, L, M, N, M, N, O, N, O, P, O, P, Q, P, Q, R, Q, R, S, R, S, T, S T U T U V U V W V W X W X Y X Y Z. I know I went a little faster, but I think y'all were ready for a little bit faster on that one for today. All right. Now I'm going to bring back up our letters here, and as we go through these. Um, we're going to say the name of the letter as we see it on the card. So we will not be saying the sounds, just the letter. So here we go. Let me make sure I'm starting on the first one. There we are. We are. So J, I, V, Z, E, P, digraph E, E, M, T, D, Digraph T H G F N A H Digraph C H O C U S K W Digraph N G L R Digraph C K B Good job. Okay. Now we're going to bring up our cards where we say the keyword and then the letter sound. Together, let's go. Elephant, E, eh. violin, M, mm. jar, J, dog, D, king, N, mm. apple, A, eh. watch, A, ah. table, Wagon, igloo, i, nest, n, sink, n, dog, or truck, k, sorry about that, pig, p, fish, f, mop, m, kite, k, thumb, f, mother, v, hat, h, gate, G, chair, ch, leaf, u, umbrella, a, uh, octopus, a, uh, bat, b, sock, s. Hang on, my co-workers are talking. Sorry about that. They got quiet now. Sock, s, maybe. Nose, z, zipper, z. Feet, e, rabbit, r, cup, k, city, s. There you go. Good job. Sorry for the interruption in the middle there. Okay. Now, whoops. Well, we got all the way back to Hunter, my son, right there, didn't we? Okay. And where do I need to go here? Ah right here hang on 
All right, back to the page where we had left off on. Okay, we've done our reading decks. All right, now it looks like it's about time for us to wrap up our lesson, but I do want you to hear some words before you leave. Okay, this is going to be the next thing that we study. And I wonder if you can hear what these words have that is alike. So listen for the sound that they have that is alike. Okay, and our words are latch, pitch, hutch. Latch, pitch, hutch. Ooh, that sound that those words have alike are what we're going to talk about the next time we meet. But we've come to the end of this video and it's the only video that we have for April 20th through the 24th. But the next time we meet, which will be next week, um, we'll talk about what we just heard in latch, pitch, and hutch. But I hope that you have a wonderful week. I hope that you're reading some wonderful books. And until we meet again, hope you stay well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.